Hi, this is Vicki with Condi Systems Tech Support, and I uh, want to show you how to create circles and squares uh, to do an even square circle or uh, a spear, should I say, and to do an even square in Corel Draw. Uh, I get this question a lot when it comes to templates. Um, I know we have a lot of templates online, but some templates um, that are perfectly circled or uh, a perfect square with four sides are um, sometimes those templates aren't there and those templates aren't there because uh, it, it may be easier for some folks out there to just create an image or to, to make the image perfectly square or perfectly circled and it takes more time sometimes to use the template than it does to just draw it out. So I want to show you how to do that. Real simple circles and squares. Won't take but a second here. Um, and the trick to drawing a circle or square in Corel is if you hold your control key down and come over here to your tools, just left click on a circle for instance. And now that I've chosen a, um, a circle and I've got my crosshairs, if I hold my control key down on my keyboard and then hold my left mouse key down, on my keyboard then I can uh, draw the circle perfectly just by holding the key down and then dragging it and I get a perfect circle and um, also I can do the same thing with a square if I left click on the square and then hold my control key down and drag I can get a perfect uh, square as I'm dragging my mouse across the page. And say for instance this square needed to be um, if it were a tile, a four inch tile, I would just go up here to my while it's selected and in the bounding box click my pick tool and then go up here and again this this has to be locked or it doesn't have to be locked but if it's locked you change one you change them both. If it's unlocked you're only changing for one. So we're going to lock it and then we're going to type in something like uh, I know that 4 inch tiles here to get a bleed area with a 4 inch tile I'm just going to type in 4.225 and when I press enter if you notice both of them change so now I have a perfect square uh, for a 4 inch tile and let's say for instance I want to get rid of this this stroke which is the outline if I just left click on my X the stroke is gone but if I like for it to be there and some folks like like it to be there so that they can see it I can just uh, left click again on a black or whatever color I want it uh, most people or I just choose black but you can make that any color you want it just by left clicking on one of these colors here okay or you can get rid of it by left clicking on it and the stroke's gone but you still have the circle so I'm going to left click and there's my uh, square and uh, same thing with the circle if I want my circle to be exactly uh, four inches uh, let's say for instance I have a jar opener which is one of the products we sell here at Condi I'm going to make this exactly uh, uh, four inches my lock box is on and uh, this little lock meaning that when I change one I change them both and I'm going to type in 4.225 and that gives me plenty of bleed press enter and I have a perfect circle here and again I can get rid of this by left clicking or leave it there by you know leaving the circle there now if I want to take an image and import it uh, or power clip it in just like you would with one of my templates here at Condi um, or the Condi templates that, that I make uh, just for purposes of this video I'm going to show you how to do that too um, I'm going to make an image or pretend to have an image here so I'm going to make my image is going to I'm gonna make my square bigger okay it's going to be bigger than either one of these boxes and the reason why is I want to import it in to um, one of my images so I'm just going to make it a color so that you can see what I'm doing here and now it's red and now I want to power clip it and to power clip it um, I can just uh, select it which I have it selected here and then uh, I'm gonna go to effects and I'm gonna go to power clip and then I'm gonna left click on place in container and now I can choose either one of these objects to place it in the container so 
there I have my pretend image inside the container. And so, and the same thing for this, uh, for this circle too, just for fun, we'll do it too. And we're going to get rid of that outline, and we're going to go to effects, and we're going to power clip, left click on place and container, and then point at my circle, and there it is. So there you have it for creating perfect circles and perfect squares. And this would, uh, you would do this the same for a six inch tile, or, or uh, make it any size you want to. And, uh, and that's how you do it. And if you have any questions on creating, creating squares or circles or power clipping images into these things, um, let me know. My name is Vicki. I'm here at Condi Systems and I'm happy to help. Thank you for your time.